guys. So I'm currently sat just over a week post show, but I do not think I could have filmed this video any earlier than today because it's been an absolute whirlwind since the show. Because I know a lot of people say this, how was show day? And the answer being, I don't even know. This is my first half wine, and this is my first half wine. Basically, I wouldn't be eating or drinking tomorrow. This is it. Woo! Did you put anything on it? I've got 20 rums of jam. Day started off well. I, you know, we got up early. Scott was there to do my check-ins and send to Paige. And my first breakfast was how it would usually be on show day. It was to be expected, like the rice cakes, chicken jam. You can't drink. It's all about staying dry. And especially for bikini, the categories are always on late in the day. So when you have a little bit of chicken on a rice cake and your mouth just waters. <laughs> Well, we've arrived at the venue now. I believe it's about half nine. Is it later? Yeah, it's exactly half nine, actually. And uh, just waiting for the tanning now. Got the athletes meeting at quarter past ten, so... But none of the girls have been tanned yet. We're still on the men, so... We're just waiting to get tanned, basically, and then athletes meeting, and then I'll send some pictures to Paige. Hopefully get some, a slight bit more food, because I've just had a rice cake today. Yeah, so athletes meeting, and then got my makeup at 12 after I've checked in with Paige and then I'll get my hair done after that and then it's showtime. tan which I've been waiting for since like nine so it was nice to be honest though like backstage talking to the other girls but equally it was just a long wait you know and you, you're there and you're tired and you're, you're depleted you're hungry you're thirsty makeup started at 12 but I needed time to send more pictures to Paige and find out what I'd be eating next and basically all I wanted to do was eat so I was stressed with building the stage. The stage hasn't been marked up yet, but you're all gonna be in one straight line then we'll Whatever your class is, we'll quarter turn you and it keeps it fresh for the audience so they don't know who the winner's going to be. It's relatively easy, even if you've got... Well, it's half eleven now, so I've spent ages waiting for my tan and we had to actually... We waited so long that they had to just send us to the athletes meeting, like, not tanned yet. But I was probably one of the last females to get tanned and now, as you can see, I quite clearly am rather tanned. Um, so now I've sent my check-in to my coach, I'm waiting for her to tell me what to eat and then... I've got my makeup at 12, so we move. was running super fast and it was like boom 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 you could see with the categories either way I was sat there getting makeup done just like completely not enjoying it and being like this is so stressful knowing that I might even be on it maybe two not three and it's getting on to 12 o'clock and I've got to get back to the Airbnb to get my hair done which was com a complete mess and knowing it needed to be curled so it was probably at that point that I sort of stopped enjoying the day and just kind of went into a bit more of a, a stressful panic I just remember not being in the best mood and I just I remember just keep telling people like 
I'm really sorry if I'm short with you. I just, I don't feel good. I don't feel happy. I'm, I'm unhappy right now. Luckily, my beautiful friends in the audience, um, they started sending me a running commentary. It's like I had a gauge then of the running order and how it was running. So I could try and relax when I was getting my hair done. managed to get my sister to buy me a, a Millie's cookie the day before. To be honest, I was feeling more and more depleted, more and more rubbish as the day went on. The good news is I did get that cookie and I mean, wow. I literally just at that point as well felt like I needed it so badly. I actually felt like if I step on stage the way I am, I'm gonna pass out. Um, but you know, as soon as I actually went back like to see the other girls and I'd had my cookie and we had our band and we were pumping up, I was thinking, let's just do this, you know, let's absolutely right. do this. I'm like good for a pee soon. <laughs> I feel like I should just like, any like nervous energy, like, you know, like a nervous pee. Yeah. I mean, backstage with the girls, it was it was a case of looking around at the other physiques, and I just honestly I remember thinking before I stepped on stage, like they all look fantastic, like I'm gonna have to work for this, and I remember thinking, even if I just place at this point, I just remember walking on that stage and being like, please, like looking at the judges, like please notice me, like I've worked so hard and I want this so much. I mean, I could just see on the judges' faces, it was, in, it was incredible because they just looked in completely perplexed. I've never seen anything like it. They, I could just tell that they had no idea and they were really like struggling. And they had us going round for a while. We did a few, we did a few turns. And it was at that point when it was first call out, they called one person's name. And then I was the second person to get called for first call outs and I just remember thinking, yes, I've done it. Thank God. So we did a round with the girls of first call outs and then they put us back in the line again. And then it was just that, that something just happened and it just changed and I could just see the head judge talking to the umpire. So we, we were all thinking, what the hell is going on? So I was intently watching what was being said and it was just number four which was my number and figure and she said it like four or five times to him and I was the girl next to me bless her was like I think they're talking about me and I was like babe they're talking about me and then he came over to her and said we're moving number three to bikini trained and I was like oh they were talking about her but I'm pretty sure they said four and figure many times and then they came to me and it was the inevitable conversation that that I'd expected because I'd heard them saying, and I just remember thinking, when I had heard them saying that, I just remember thinking, awesome. yes, figure! So competitor number three is being moved to trained bikini. And competitor number four is being moved to figure. She's a bit nervous about the posing, but we'll teach her, won't we? Myself and we'll teach her it, was, it was just, a, I remember just feeling amazed, but also I was stood there and I was doing this on stage like, as a joke, like, and then they were like, don't worry about the posing. We'll show you backstage and I should be thinking, bloody hell, it figures the next category on and I've got no idea. And then got backstage and Emma Heineman was there, like... <laughs> Good, round the arms, round the arms, round the elbows, yeah. Soft bent, you want to be. So she just literally was like this, this. The whole time she wouldn't leave my gaze, she was like, look at me, just, just this is what we do. And Glute shot, again, exactly the same as what you do in bikini, face back, and exactly what you do to the you front. You move your hair as well? Yeah, move the hair. So move the hair first? Yeah, exactly like wooden bikini, so feet together, oh. play lats. 
Lovely. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. We practiced the quarter turns, you know. Um, to be honest, I did not get the at uh, the front pose. Looking back at the footage of me on stage is like so cringe because I was like literally doing this, but it's obviously a lot more like up and keeping it in. We went backstage and we just kept going and going and going. And then she was like, I'll be with you, I'll be on, I'll be on the side of the stage and I'll be queuing you. And she was, so I went back out on stage, I went into, out with the bigger girls, they were all lovely, really welcoming. And I just went out there with a the mindset of like, I've always wanted this and this just feels incredible. And I just really enjoyed it. And I could hear Emma like the whole time, she was like telling me to like, legs, number seven. And I just went on stage and I was like, I can feel this, you know? So I just, I think they just saw that in me. And the next thing I know, because I don't even remember the moment that well leading up to it. It, they called my name for first place and it was just like... Oh my god, I thought I'd cry, like I'd manifested this moment of getting first place in the show, obviously in bikini, but just hearing my name for first place, I've manifested it every single day. So I walked up quite quickly to be fair, I went and got my, you know, my prize, my trophy, my little goodies and my certificate and I just stood there and went in the power pose and I just remember smiling at the audience and just thinking this is the moment. Everything that I worked for, everything, the crappy day I'd had, the shit few weeks I'd had, the year that I spent eating the same damn shit every single day. Oh, I'm not <laughs> Honestly, it was so good. And then after I stepped off stage, it was like, boom! Like everyone was there and it was so overwhelming and everyone wanted to talk to me. And... I always wanted to be in figure, that's all I've ever wanted. Well, now I've never you are. To be in figure. Now you are. And it was like UK Beef TV and they wanted a TV interview and I was just like, I just remember how bad my legs felt because I'd obviously, I'd obviously been posing for at least an hour. Yeah, I just had to like wait it out for the overalls, but it didn't feel like waiting because it was honestly just so overwhelming. Like I say, there were so many people, like we were in a big arc and it was quite funny, just all sat on the floor like, and then suddenly it was like, yeah, back on stage, but I had no expectations for the overalls because I just I knew that obviously my posing was pretty shocking and there's girls in that category that have won their class that have, obviously they've won it because they've got amazing shape for their uh, you know for their category but they've also got amazing posing um, so the girl that won was a bikini girl actually and yeah she looked fab and that's what happened it was a crazy crazy day and it was um, yeah and like just the Fit X Federation in general like the, the organisers the staff absolutely lush people so the day went well and you know the the actual vibe was so good like even my dad commented like bodybuilding such a nice community isn't it it's such a nice sport and i was like yes exactly the pressure worked for me it, it made me push myself to places that i've never been and that's crazy but i think people talk about this when you when you get into your head that mentality of like i got this there's no reason i can't win this show you stand a much better chance when you go into a show with that mentality and for me, it was literally the mentality of like, I know I've got the good shape. I know I'm bringing the condition, everything I could possibly do. I know I'm bringing a, a, a first place worthy package. There's no reason that I can't win this show. So like, I didn't think it was unreasonable for me to tell myself that I could win. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this journey. I mean, it couldn't have gone better for me to be fair. So absolutely smashed this show. And yeah, on to the next, the PCA Saxon Classic. See how I do in the PCA. And but for now, we've certainly got finals to prep for in, in September, so there'll be a whole there'll be a whole new prep series coming. So stay tuned.